Hello, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, this is Fred's uh, World of Percussion. Um, this is one of my favorite percussion instruments, the gong. Now, the whole thing with this is <clears throat> to resonate the, um, the, 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 the vibrations of the gong before you strike it, <clears throat> you have to loosen it up. You have to warm it up. So there's a way to do that. much just you can clasp it I should have a gong stand I don't have a gong stand yet but this uh, as you notice there's a hole there's a hole in it right now I'm fixing it for a school and um, my objection is to either cut this part out and it'll be a little bit less volume but it will still be able to preserve it um, <clears throat> besides uh, cutting the whole section out like uh, say a, a rusted part of a car uh, it kind of spreads, um, so either cutting it out all together or um, finding some kind of uh, uh, metal that would, maybe bronze or something that would be able to weld in, and protect that. But uh, uh, how the, uh, the sound vibrates throughout. Now the right way to hit this is on the sides. You don't want to hit in the center um, and you want to warm it up before you hit it. Now a lot of times the reason these break so easily is because they're they're st st struck without warming it up, so it causes tension. Um, you could you could watch a lot of YouTube videos about these and why they break so easy. That these these go for about seven seven hundred fifty to eight hundred dollars a pop or more, depending on the size of it. But for this size one, almost you know almost a thousand dollars. So to preserve this, instead of junking it, either cutting a hole out of this or welding it together to try to preserve it. Um, this one over here has a metal uh, string instead of a, a cloth uh, rope. And this one, you can tell the sound of it. There's a small little crack that's even smaller than the other one. And this has a real bad sound. There's nothing really good about it. Um, kind of just sounds like junk metal, right? So. This one, for some reason, because I guess it's because it's the metal is bending out, it actually has a pretty good so uh, sound to it. So I'm going to demonstrate this a little bit more. Um, this is the best one I have. The other ones are even worse than the one I just showed you. So, um, but I plan on preserving these for a school I'm working with to cut out this section or weld it together to be able to preserve it and use it and bring it back into a percussion ensemble. So there you have it. That's that is the gong, like the gong show. Um, so uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll have other more uh, percussion videos, and from what I see, a lot of people love the junk percussion. So I'm gonna get a lot more of the junk percussion videos up and running. All right, stay safe and peace out. Keep on drumming.